Hello. Skyscan Data Viewer versions 1.4 and above have an important capability to rotate and reorient a dataset in three dimensions. This can be important to maximize the consistency and accuracy of morphometric measurement. We'll take the example of a bone, a mouse distal femur, frequently used for morphometric analysis. However, the principle could apply to any sample. When a sample such as a bone is scanned, sometimes if it has a long axis, the long axis is not quite straight or axial, and we would like to align it to be more straight. Now, to begin with, we open the data set. When I click on Open in Data Viewer, we can select an individual file from the data set and open it in the usual way. Please note, if you want to preserve the full original resolution of the scan without resizing downwards, make sure that the resize option is not selected. After opening, click on this button here to load the dataset for XYZ viewing and then click on this button to fit on screen. So we can see that the bone is a little bit off axis and so we begin by normalizing the cross-sectional orientation. If we do this then we can achieve more harmonization between all the data sets so they're all more or less in the same orientation. If I go close to the growth plate in the bone, I can rotate this image by holding down the control button on the keyboard and then doing a left button drag and drop with the mouse, like this. And this image rotates and you'll, you'll see that the coronal and the sagittal view rotate accordingly. So once this is horizontal, then I will choose a coronal plane where I can see the whole bone orientation and it's slightly off straight so once again I can perform a small rotation and once again that rotation is then reflected in the other two views. Finally the sagittal view reveals a non-straight orientation so I'm going to ro rotate that until that is also straight and once the data sets are as close as possible to being straight in both the coronal and the sagittal view, then it follows that the transaxial view will also be as close as reasonably possible to being straightly aligned. Having performed this reorientation, we can now save either a single image or the whole data set in any one of these three views, the coronal, the sagittal, the transaxial. So if we want to save the whole transaxial rotated data set, we go to Actions, Save, and we choose Transaxial Images as a data set. It warns us that the image is rotated, but that's what we want, so we click Yes. And then we just choose a new name for the data set, let's call it Rotated, and let's also place it in a subdirectory and save a new data set in the usual way. So that's a quick, straightforward and intuitive method for 3D resampling of data sets, an important prerequisite to accurate morphometric analysis.